boy Davide Gardini of BYU Men's Volleyball is back in Studio B. The sophomore sensation was outstanding in BYU's first two road wins in that Chicago road trip. Davide, welcome back to Studio B. Up, Davide? Thank you, guys. How are you doing? We're great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm ready to start a season at home. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good. How was uh, school this week, by the way? You're back in school. It was fine. You know, it's not great to start school again, but hey, you got to do it. And <laughs> I got good classes this semester, so it's going to be That's fun. That's good. <laughs> now, when you flew back, I think you put on Instagram, you got stuck in Detroit or something? Oh, I did. I was in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. I a little different there. than Detroit. Yeah, it was... I had a little few troubles like getting to America, but everything is fixed. I got here, so we're good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. No, That's you're good. here. You're definitely here because you're making a huge impact for BYU Thanks. volleyball. I mean, we're talking uh, 40 kills. You hit over 400. Why did you feel like you got off to such a great start individually this season? Uh, I mean, I feel like we put a lot of work in this, during this like preseason, and I just felt like we were so ready to play. Then when we actually were able to do it, we were just like so I'm um, like we were ready and so we just like we're off to a great start we were ready to play we just did what we we were planning to do and that was just easy everything came very easy for us that's like the great thing about it your offense was fantastic yet you get defensive player of the week because you or Gabi uh yeah. need to win the offensive player of the week right that's right <laughs> so you had 15 digs and eight blocks as well yeah what were you more proud of your defense or your offense? I was proud of my defense for sure more blocking was like very good but I know that I I can be really good there defense is like one of my not so good spots so I just worked hard and I got a lot, a lot of them, so I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> How did a relatively frustrating 2019 season shape this BYU team for what's to come in 2020? I think it shaped us a lot. And uh, looking back to that season, I'm grateful because it was like a big chance for us to learn a lot of things, like uh, learn a lot of things about each other, about us, about the guys around us, about the coaches. It was just like a season of learning, I would say. And... Now, this season is going to be a totally different season for us. So, And it's awesome because this team returns almost everybody. I lost Taylor Richards and yeah. LeBarro, um, and it's the same group. So how's this group evolved since then? Yeah, we made, like, good strikes, like, big changes during the preseason. And as I said, like, the main thing is that we work very hard in every aspect, like, from conditioning to lifting, uh, technically. It was just, like, a really hard working from the team and we are just a unit I would say that's a big thing from this year we got experience we return a lot of guys so we're just confident in each other and in the work that we put in so Davide Gardini with us on BYU Sports can, Station can we just say this is that the best name at BYU it's got to be oh, top just, three. It just sure. rolls off the tongue. Davide Gardini. Davide Gardini. Yeah, with a hand like that. With a hand like with that. Hand. I love it. I love your name. I love it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, BYU. Don't tell Gabi and Felipe that. <laughs> You're right. I won't. You I won't. the best name on the I volleyball won't. team. For sure. Okay. BYU ranked number three uh, in the media poll. Sorry, in the coaches poll. Number two in the media I poll. I voted BYU two in the media because two road wins over ranked teams. How do you handle this type of early season hype? You know, uh, seeing ourselves in the third spot is cool, and we just don't want to think about it. But at the same time, like, it puts some pressure on us, which is definitely good. It's what we need. So teams are going to fear us, and we know we're in a good spot, but we know we still got to work hard because those posts, like, they matter until a certain point, And then for the rest, you just got to play and show that you – are there for a reason. So that's what we want to prove. We want are to you prove sure you're a sophomore? He's, he's speaking are you, like, and, a, a veteran, <laughs> like a senior you're, leader right now. And your English was really good last year. It's even better. Oh, thanks, man. So, I appreciate so it. Improvement. It's all getting better. That's I'm working on it. It's awesome. Um, when, you, when you look at this season and what it means for this group, this is a group with some juniors and some seniors. Yeah. You were a freshman. It was the U.S. And last yeah. year, um, I, I guess you, you and some of your roommates are some of the main guys. How have you guys evolved as, as people, as a team? Yeah, we, we did. We definitely did. And we're looking into this season as, you know, we, compared to last year, we have a lot of seniors and juniors. So, you know, guys that last year, next year, they're going to be gone. So we, we know that this is the year and we, we improved. So that's all we could do during preseason. Now it's just time to play and do our best because that's all we can do now. <laughs> Still roommates with Gabi and Felipe? No, I'm just with Felipe and Kanai now. Okay. Gabby is Gabby's engaged, right? He is. Yeah, he's engaged. Okay, yeah. So he's le he's fleeing he the coup. He got the boot. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> so you said Felipe and who else? Kanai. 
And Kanai, yeah. who's also on the team. That's yeah. right. So so and how Kanai. has that dynamic changed? You got a new guy in there. It's good. You make him do the dishes yeah. more. How does that work? I had to adapt to that because, you know, Kanai is American, like Hawaiian. So I just had to adapt. Gabby was like mm, a little different, but he's a cool guy. We're, we're having fun this year. <laughs> All right, Davide, uh, let's put your English to the test. Explain <laughs> playing in the Smithfield house in one word. Whew. Can we do um, Italian and then English? <laughs> yeah, sure. What's yeah. the Italian word? Um, incredible. Okay. Incredible. Yeah, that would be incredible. But if I have to use an American one, I would just use like fire. Like for me, like mm. what I feel inside when I play in this midfield is like fire because it just brings the best out of you. So it's great. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're feeling the fire. Can't wait for tonight. Open up against Penn awesome. State. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming in on game day, Thank man. Thank you for having Let's me give here, you some man. Karma. BYU Sports Nation karma. Thank you guys. Okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks.